hard for me. It's like a homecoming. I missed them when I read the script. I just, I couldn't wait to get back. Oh, Bridget. Mark. You meet all these characters more than a decade on. Jude and Chazza and Tom have all grown up. Eduardo and I are adopting. What, a baby? Yes, a baby. Mark's still got that stick up his bum. How are you? Very well, thanks. How are you? I'm fine. Class fine? I have a whiskey, please. Big, big class. Double. And I'm like the new kid on the block. I'm joined by Jack Quant. He claims to have found an algorithm for love. Oh! May I? <laughs> It fits. <laughs> it's pretty intense. They're both pretty determined. It's very hard for her. Bridget, I'd like to oh. meet Jack Quant. He's, he's rather extraordinary. I was just reading a profile of him in The New Yorker. Jack is fairly irresistible. We actually know each other. Yes, we certainly do. I would leave me for him. I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh, no, Bridget. Who's the father? This is Mark's. There's at least a 50% chance. A 50% chance? Did you have a three-way? It's a pretty fantastic storyline. And the consequence is as extreme as it can be. Bridget always seems to me the most wonderful paradox between utter hopelessness and incredible competence. She's not perfect and she doesn't intend to be. I love her humanity is inspiring, and I think it's made her a really beloved character. So this is Dad, I presume. So glad you could be here. This is a unique and wonderful moment. Dr. Rawlings, I wonder if you could maybe do me a little favor? Hmm. So this is Dad, I presume. I'm so glad you could be here. This is a unique and marvelous moment.